If you are not too much into video editing but still want to get your message out with a professional looking video, you might want to check out FlexClip. Now FlexClip's interface takes a little bit time perhaps to get used to but once you do, it's nice, easy and super simple to use the software. Let's see a quick sample. So that's the level of pro quality I'm talking about. First, I'll quickly explain the user interface and then we will create a video and render its output. Please watch till the end because I also shared a coupon code and, and a lifetime deal link uh, depending on when you're watching this video to save a lot if you choose to purchase one of Plex Clips subscription plans. Let's get started. All right, so first, once you're here, then please go ahead and sign up for free. Although they have paid plans, it has a free plan for which you don't need any credit cards for signing up. Once you sign up, you just have to verify your email so that your account gets active. I'm going to click on the login because I already have an account here. All right, so we are here at the landing page of FlexClip as soon as we sign up. First thing that I see here is that you can start from scratch here, but you also have a list of menu items on the left sidebar. Here you have got the home screen, which will provide thousands of templates for you to search from and then pick up and then just get started. Or you can always click this button as I told you. Next, once you start working on, uh, once you start working on any of your projects, you can click on my projects to see what all you have created. And then you can also favorite any of these templates by clicking on this heart icon so that you can come and revisit that later quickly. And uh, this section provides a ton of stock videos from story blocks that you can use, uh, which are all categorized into different segments. Like you can see here, these are birthday related videos, uh, which we can use. And this part is you can also sort and filter these by uh, most relevant, most downloaded and then so on and so forth. And then these are a couple of paid features, which is like you can have, you can get some cloud storage and then you can also upload custom fonts. Okay, let's pick this one. Click on use video and then you will see that there are a couple of modes here. So you can choose any of these edit modes. The first one on the left here you see is the timeline mode, which gives you full control with all the tracks. And uh, you can add the video track, audio track, and then your voiceover or any music separately here. So I would suggest choosing the timeline mode. But if you want to make a quick video uh, in just a few minutes without much of the bells and whistles, you can click on the storyboard mode. Let's now go into the timeline mode. All right, we are into this Flex Clips actual video editor interface. Uh, we are going to create a sample video to see all its features. But before that, let me quickly show you what's available. Uh, as much as, as you can see, it's all pretty much self-explanatory here. Okay, I'm going to expand this timeline so you can see the actual powerful video editor in full screen. All right, so here you can see the templates that we can choose and add. And then you can uh, also see the media bin where you can upload your files from your local computer or even record your screen and then up attach that or the webcam. And then you can also get it from your phone by using a QR code, which is fantastic. Uh, once you add your assets, the media assets, they all get stored here. And uh, then the text will give you options to add different texts and titles. So these are all dynamic ones. And you've got uh, more options here with lower thirds to add your name. Maybe here like this one. That's really cool. And then different uh, categorized titles as well. Okay, so that's about the text part. And specifically for the video footages, you can just click on these videos and search for any relevant stock footages that you want to add. And next on the photos part, you also get uh, access to copyright free lot of photos that we can add into other timelines here. Then comes the music to get some um, uh, stock music that you can add to your um, videos. Then comes the element part which is my favorite here. So for example, let's say I'm going to hit on this one. Let's make it a little larger and see how this works. 
yeah so you can get to see a lot of uh, different animated elements and graphics within this here next comes the overlays wherein you can add uh, perhaps maybe transitions type overlays to add that extra uh, overlay text effects and uh, other graphics onto the video and then we can customize the background here with again the maybe stock video or just maybe a, a photo background finally we have got the branding option wherein you can add any watermarks or any images by uploading to any of these corners okay now on to the actual video creation uh, within the templates section i'm going to search for some teaching related videos again so that we can add a few more videos before we publish this one let us take something uh, yeah this one let me click on apply all five pages or if you want to just pick one among these all you want to do is just click on this plus to add a scene this is the best part of flex clip uh, instead of uh, opening and then adding them all and then returning to your editor this shows the actual video for you and then lets you add immediately to your bin so i'm going to click on this plus icon to add the scene and then add another one that's it you can click on this button to fit the screen to see all the footages in one go okay and next i'm going to add some text over this and if you want to edit these you can just click click you can just simply click on this one and then type whatever you want i'm going to say the same thing whatever you want here and then leave it at that if you click on this you can also see that you can adjust the color the font face the size and the more the details you can also format these by the spacing and the line height by centering center or any alignment settings here okay let's see how this came up you can also see that this got added into a separate track here so that you can adjust this based on when you want to keep whether you want to overlay this on part of the previous uh, scene or just start from here so let's see watch this one So you get it that way now you can see that uh, the text is not visible until you click on this one you only see the footages and then the audio here but if you click on this timeline you can see all of them here so that you can adjust however you want it and this timeline will display the current footage selected so if i'm clicking on this and then click on timeline you can see what's up here the lower third element that i added and then the subscribe uh, element that i added here so that's the level of retail flex clip offers to get into the timeline and then edit whatever you want to okay getting into the videos here if i click on this video and then let's say um students you again get a bunch of videos that can be used for adding into your um, videos all right i hope you got this idea of how we add the stock footages or the videos from your own computer by going into the media and click on local files and then uploading that or you can also click on recording and then record the screen and the webcam or the screen or just the webcam okay now let's add some photos okay i'm going to just simply click this one and see how it shows up beautiful now let's add some transitions so i'm going to edit the transition and then see what's available here so this is into the zoom transition but i want to change that to maybe let's take uh, this one circle brush rotation okay click on this it was going to update this transition and you can see that we added a different transition to this one so that's how we can uh, up update the transitions and you can easily remove the background of any of these footages by clicking on this remove background and then processing this but the thing is that you need to have uh, the credits which gets uh, reset every month finally with the branding you can let's say you now add a text and then adjust its uh, overlay to show on your complete video you can click on this opacity to adjust 
how you want it to be shown you can uh, choose this one to change the location and uh, put it wherever you want let me keep it here or maybe on the left i'll keep it here let's see this one so the watermark remains The another uh, caveat here is that you cannot adjust the length of this watermark because it keeps showing on all the clippings here all the scenes we cannot adjust that to show just one few scenes or maybe remove it after sometimes if you want to have that displayed all throughout your video then go for this one you can also add uh, uh, an image watermark by uploading your own from your computer so that's all about these uh, features here on the sidebar now let's go and uh, quickly save this one actually i should have saved this one at the beginning itself uh, but that's a key lesson here please try and uh, um, save as soon as you start your project so now that the video is saved once you are happy with what you created click on the export option and choose the format that you want to in the free version you get to export with 480 pixels and a maximum of one minute length which will be ideal for youtube shorts or any facebook videos if you want to create a quick one uh, but with the paid options uh, you will get to choose either 720 pixels uh, quality with the basic plan or with the plus plan you get to see the 1080 pixels quality you can also export this into a gif format if you are creating something smaller Okay, so with this video, I'm going to click on export and see how long it takes. And then I'll let you know how long it took for me to, to export this uh, uh, en entire video clip for 16 seconds. Now there is a note that says that we have to stay on this page for a faster export process. So I'm going to stay on this page. I'm not going to move anywhere. Uh, meanwhile, I'm also tracking how long this is taking. We can see the seconds counter on the screen above to see how long it's taking for just 16 second video. But again, it depends on maybe the processes that your computer will allocate for the browser to work in the background. Although this rendering is done in the cloud i would prefer to keep uh, minimal tabs open while this is happening because the browser does its thing right because we don't want to get into that uh, process and disturb it okay it's done it's uh, exported successfully i got the clip downloaded to my local system we also get a share link with which you can just copy and then share it to any of your social uh, media channels Let's open this and see how it can turned out. Okay, pretty decent for a quick demo. Uh, if you work at it and then create a stunning uh, video with great visuals and that's specific to your content, then I'm sure this will turn out really, really good here's the pricing structure uh, at the time of making this video um, wherein there's also a lifetime deal going on at the time of making this video so grab it before it's gone the links are given in the description and you're also and you can also find this specific link that's provided on the screen here to make use of this lifetime deal instead of getting into a paid uh, monthly or annual subscription this is a great deal get it before it's gone but if you miss this lifetime deal you can still make use of this specific coupon code that's displayed here on the screen and then um, use it at the time of checkout so that you can get a good discount open and full disclosure this is an affiliate link and i will earn a small commission if you choose to purchase at no additional cost to you i hope you liked my review if so please consider giving a thumbs up to this video uh, flex clip is also available for desktop which can be downloaded from here now flex clip also comes with a ton of free tools now the speaking of uh, cons or the caveats with the flex clip uh, i just found that uh, the free version with one minute is a major drawback because beyond one minute you can't you cannot create 
uh, or export the videos and uh, even with the paid plans the limits of 3 minutes and 10 minutes is pretty low in my opinion of course we can convey a lot of things within the 10 minutes and uh, 3 minutes but it's just my opinion and with the business plan also you get to just have 30 minutes of videos which is good but if at all you want to create a very lengthy tutorials or like for say one hour or five hour courses then this is not the tool for you but the best part is here that you can upload custom fonts in case you have a creative fabrica maybe you get to find beautiful fonts you can easily upload those here and then start using them and they also provide a good cloud storage so all your like your projects can be stored online and then uh, you can switch computers and then start working immediately without losing any of your clippings so these are some of the pros and uh, we also get the reseller rights if you go for the plus plan and above and just remember that um, there is a lifetime deal going on so please grab it before it's gone